Today, I'm going to show you five ways to add recurring tasks in Notion. As someone who's helped thousands of Notion users streamline their productivity systems, I've tested every workaround, hack, and hidden method for automating repeat tasks inside of Notion. And if you apply one of these, hopefully your to-do list will basically run itself. Your routine's locked in, your brain freed up for actual deep work. Because if you don't implement a recurring system, you'll constantly be rewriting the same tasks, you'll be missing routines, and you'll watch your product Activity crumble. Okay, that's a bit extreme, but recurrent tasks are very useful. Here's what we're going to cover today. How to repeat tasks with databases, how to repeat tasks with Google Calendar and display that with Notion, how to generate a routine in Notion, how to easily duplicate tasks in Notion, and how to easily duplicate tasks in Notion Calendar. Subscribe for Notion tutorials, let's dive in. By the way, for this tutorial here, we'll be using Headquarters, which is my Notion productivity template. There's a link in the description if you're interested, but all of these work no matter what your Notion setup is. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the most common. So you need to go to your task list. So in here, this is my task list, this is my task list, and this is my task list. They're all connected, it's the same database, just being viewed differently. So what we're going to do here is click on this down arrow here next to the new for your task list. So not your projects or anything else. And if you click on this down arrow here in headquarters, you can see a bunch of templates already. We have the habits, journal entries, stuff like that. But if you're not using headquarters, we are just going to click on new template here so I can show you how this works. So I'll write run here, very exciting. This here will be my recurring task and I'll add an icon as well, the running shoe. And if you're using headquarters, if you select habit here, it will automatically show up in your habit tracker every time you check in that you've completed the run. Now remember, this here is a template. So anything you put in here, this will show up every single time this task is generated because we are editing a template. So once you're happy with it, you can click away. So now you'll find this template here. If you ever wanna edit it, you can click on these three dots here and click on edit. But instead, what we are going to do here when you're ready to have it recurring, we'll click on the three dots and we'll click on repeat. So here you can see that it's off. And here we can say, do we want it to repeat every single day, every weekday, week, two weeks, month, three months, six months, or a year? Now, if you want a task to occur every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, for example, then you can actually click on week here and then you can select here the days. So Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we said. So here you're selecting the cadence and then you would click on save. And then on Tuesday, you'll have it generated and appear here. That's how to create recurring tasks in Notion databases. Now, the next method is to use Google Calendar. So what we're going to do here is click on open in calendar. If you're not seeing this, by the way, so you just have a task list like this, basically what you need to do here is then right click on one of these tabs and do duplicate. And you're going to want to change the layout here from table to calendar. And now you can see the opening calendar appears here. So now we open up the Notion calendar app. Now this here is connected to this. So if I add something here for the Saturday, blah, blah, and click away. If I open up Notion calendar, that blah, blah appears here. And of course, if I drag it to seven to 8 a.m., for example, if I click back, as you can see, it now says 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. in here for blah, blah. So my Notion database is speaking to my Notion calendar. Now what we'll do is open up Google Calendar. So I'll click here at 6 a.m. and I'll say walk for this. So this will be an event. And if I click here, we can see 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Of course, you can just click here and change the time manually. And then here we'll click on does not repeat and we're going to change it to daily. And then I'll click on save. So this task appears here and it appears every single day for the rest of time into the future. And now if I go back to my Notion calendar, I can see walk here for the rest of time into the future. Now these tasks here are not connected to your Notion database. They're just showing your Google Calendar events and tasks with your Notion database tasks. But that's how to create recurring tasks with Google Calendar and show them in Notion Calendar. Now in headquarters, I have this thing called a routine button. So if I click on this, as you can see, habit one, two, and three get generated and I can drag that in right here. And now I have my routine added immediately in one second. So I'll show you how to do that as it is super, super useful. So what I'll do here is just create some space and I'll do forward slash and here write button. So this here, what we're going to do is create a button and we have to create some rules for it. And before we create the settings for this button, what we're going to do is create the tasks that we want to appear in this button. So here we have the habits, habit one, two, and three. So let's create some, let's say drink two liters of water. Again, we'll make this a habit so it appears in my habit tracker and I'll say read 30 minutes. Same thing, make that a habit, click away. Okay, these are the two tasks here that I want to generate when I click on this button here. So we're going to change the settings here for the button. So we'll call it habits or routine, whatever you wanna call it. And here are the settings. When this button is clicked, then we have to select the action. 
So the action that I want to happen is to insert blocks. So now to insert blocks, all I'll do is simply drag this and drop it in there like that. Do the same thing for this one, drag and drop it in there like that. So now what we're saying is when this routine button is clicked, then we want to insert the blocks below, drink two liters of water and read 30 minutes. And of course we can add a icon here. Let's say these gear icons here like that and then click on done. So now when I click on this, as you can see, these two appear directly below. And then I can drag that into my day like this, drag it like that. And you can see they are both habits as well. So if I tick these in like that and then scroll down and go to my habit tracker, when I scroll down here, I can see I have drunk two liters of water and read for 30 minutes. That is how to generate a routine button in Notion. All right, the last two are super easy, but I've seen a bunch of people comment about this. If you have something like go to the gym, for example, and of course this is a habit. And let's say the bucket here is a uh, fitness and we don't need a project for this if I click away so I have this task here what I can do is hold down the option key and then drag this to another day and what it does is not only duplicate it but it actually duplicates all of these settings as well so I have here habit and fitness showing up so it's not just duplicating the name but it's duplicating all of the different settings in here as well that's how to easily duplicate tasks in Notion. And then lastly, you can duplicate tasks in Notion Calendar. So here you can see habit one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's add a task here, blah, blah, blah. What I can do again is just hold down option here and now I duplicate that task like that. This is super useful if you want it to appear a bunch of times. And another trick is you can actually select multiple by holding down shift like this. You can select multiple and then drag them all at the same time like this and they'll stay in their configuration. So now it's all appearing at 7 a.m. like that. And now as you can see, these blah, blah, blah tasks are appearing in my Notion as well. If you like the look of headquarters, click the link in the description. Or if you want to see a full tour of headquarters, then click on this video here. It's built around the world's best productivity methods and it's changed the way that so many people work. Click on this video here to check it out. Thanks for watching.